Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. So uh, today we are going to discuss about the aim constraint. Uh, we have already discussed about the point constraint and the uh, and the orient constraint. And yeah, I guess that you have already have a very basic idea about the constraining process and everything and how they work. Now the aim constraint. Maybe most of the people are already know that aim constraint. What is the exact uh, the practical use of the aim constraint that? Uh, that is, we actually create uh, some, uh, you know, eye controllers because aim constraint is that uh, the parent object's movement will actually control the rotation of the child object. So, if in this case, uh, this is my child object and this box or cube is my parent object, if I move my cube, uh, that uh, movement of the or uh, translation values, the changes of the translation value in the cube will actually um, control the rotation of this uh, shape, this box. Okay, now <clears throat> to do with that, uh, uh, just to create a very basic uh, relationship first that we actually you know aware of. Okay, now. First, uh, select the parent, then select the uh, child, then go to constraint and aim constraint option box. I'm just uh, resetting the values. I'll explain all the all these uh, options because the maximum maximum people will actually uh, don't understand how this uh, aim vector and the up vector actually works and what is the exactly use of and how they actually behave, how to control them. We generally use uh, just to change the axis and, and let's see what is happening and and uh, the desirable uh, results are coming or not and, and that's how we are actually used to treat it but it has some logic behind this this aim vector and up vector so you have to understand this, uh, these uh, vectors so that how it actually works uh, you don't have to uh, have this knowledge of vectors in terms of mathematics but uh, definitely you have to um, understand that what is the use of uh, how the aim vector and up vectors actually play uh, in this in this relationship okay now um, I'm just uh, Resetting the values and it's the add the the moment I add you can see the uh, movement of my uh, cube is actually followed by this uh, rotation of this uh, particular sphere that I've created. But uh, I'm using uh, the same relationship. I'm going to create the same relationship between uh, between these two objects, uh, as this one is a very circular or round uh, object. Uh, the aim vector and the other uh, stuffs will. Uh, it's very difficult to make understand how the aim vector and the world vector comes to play. So uh, I'll just uh, you can understand that uh, I can use it for the uh, the controllers of my eyeballs how to you know move the uh, eyeballs or how how to you know read my eyeballs through it it's very simple but uh, <clears throat> what are the what are the basic logic behind that uh, in, in vectors and uh, and the uh, up vectors so let's see first select the cube and also the another one is it's actually i i change this uh, shape because to uh, to to make uh, you people understand how what direction it's actually uh, in. So constraint in okay, okay, fine. Now initially, now if I hit uh, apply, the same uh, thing will happen. It will just uh, follow the rotation. Now just control Z and. Now I am going to uh, show you. you. You have already understand that what is the difference between the ma uh, use of the maintain offset. Uh, that if there is any values over there over these two objects that will be maintained, that difference will be maintained between these two objects or entities that I've already discussed about in 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 the point constraint and also the orient constraint. Uh, chapter that if you if you didn't then I definitely recommend that you should first follow those two tutorials first then you come out with this okay now <clears throat> so what is the aim vector now the thing is uh, the aim vector is of which axis of this particular object which is going to aim towards this parent object now by default and before I'm uh, you know applying this uh, constraint so by default 
this act the x-axis is at this part and this is my y-axis and this is my z-axis so what I'm going to do is I'm just uh, select this face okay and assign a material it's a Lambert material it's not a very good way to make it red okay so that's become red so these sides these two sides which are the representation of the x-axis I am converting this color to the um, red okay now the bottom two will be my white so oops shine my Lambert again and I'll just uh, make it green okay and these two will be my Z exactly the colors of of these three uh, world axis okay so assign a plane sorry no Lambert I just to use Lambert again it's a blue so that's how I can uh, you know uh, make a, I can understand that which direction is actually it's getting so select these two so first select the parent object then select the child object that's a way that you, you have to put the in constraints now aim vector says I am giving it to X X Y and Z so I'm giving to X so if I hit apply nothing will change because it's already aiming on the X axis if I hit apply you can see that the X axis is always going to aim now that is the use of the aim vector right now if I uh, shift like this and if I zeroed out this x-axis and I change to the one and I hit apply now see what is actually happen it's very interesting it's now the moment I hit apply you can see my y-axis which is a green in the color is actually pointing or aiming towards the parent object now that is the logic behind this now I want my y-axis okay that is happening the swabbling is happening because my y-axis is the aim vector also and also the uh, uh, up vector I'm just uh, zero out the up vector uh, by you know world up type to none because that's how uh, the use of the up vector will be nullified let's see okay select these two and world up type that's which is a, a controller of the up vector I'm going to use it nullify I'm, just, I'm not going to use the vector as a as a up axis I'm going to uh, release that I'm just going I, I always explain how the up vector is comes to play okay so the <clears throat> y-axis will be my aim vector hit enter and that's it so if I want my up or the aim axis as a Z same way what is going to happen is the Z axis will follow towards the parent object now that is the logic behind this aim vector now now you can understand that which which directions of your object you want to aiming towards your parent object or the controllers or whatever you want so you don't get confused about these uh, you know uh, about these uh, uh, aim vectors now before you start to use this up vector I strongly recommend that world type is you put a world type to the vectors not it's there, there are other sides like scene type you want to see you want to use the exactly scene type and you want to object up matching with the up vector the up axis of the object and the object orientation up axis and the vectors I if I really want to use you really want to use the up vector as a, a you know uh, the world type as a, ve as a vector so in this case if I want my up vector as now I want to use this y axis as an aim vector that means this upper side or the green color is going to face towards my cube so I use this 
and also zero out the miser axis. So now the thing is how this is going to face the parent object. There are two options either like this where the x axis will be my up or like this because in this way also my y axis is aiming towards my uh, uh, parent object. So there's a two option either the z axis will be my up axis or x axis will be my axis. In the both way my y axis is uh, towards my uh, parent object. So now that I have to decide whether I my what is my requirement, which direction I really wanted to have it in the in a, in a up axis. So uh, right away I want my m vector. Uh, the y is my m vector and my up vector. I'm not going to use the y definitely. I want my up vector to be x. So if I hit apply, oops, sorry. If I hit apply, now you can see my up axis is the x axis and my aiming axis is y. Okay, fine. Now the same thing I'm going to use. Oops for the z axis also i want the y axis is to my aim axis that is uh, this will gonna aim but my z axis will be on the upper side not the x axis so in that way see see that that thing that is actually the use of this aim vector and the up vector uh, when you are you are actually uh, you, know, you want to follow any objects to to rotationally uh, I say yeah. and through the through the aim aim uh, aim constraint. So that's how you never get confused. What is the, oh my god? What, what is the use of these vectors? I mean, which I'm gonna use, or whether x or y or z or what? So that's how you can actually plan out your your actions. That what exactly you want, or how exactly you want your objects to be behave like. You already know that uh, this uh, this movement of uh, the rotation of this particular object is going to uh, dependent uh, dependable on on this on this cube the movement of the cube or whether it's y or x or whatever it is. So uh, uh, so I hope you understand this uh, this uh, two factors and rest of the parts that we have already discussed in the few in the previous chapters in point constraint and uh, the. Uh, orient constraint these are those, all those all the same same things that you whether you want to constrain in a particular axis you want only x to be uh, uh, only x to be you know affected then you can uh, use just only x or uh, you want any any two of them you can switch on the two of it or if you want all of them then just, just all and the weight whether you want uh, two different parent objects to be controlled uh, to control with one single child object then you can uh, use this weight option so rest of the things are almost uh, the same as the uh, you know the uh, the previous uh, constraints and i hope this uh, aim vector and the up vector has been clear to you uh, and you can use this uh, uh, aim constraint in a different uh, occasions uh, according to your requirement so hope you enjoy this thank you very much please subscribe to our youtube channel and also like our facebook page and also follow us on twitter so hope you enjoy this thank you very much